Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today I'm going to try three of the So Right Frozen Dinners. The Szechuan Style Kung Pao Chicken, the Chicken Lo Mein, and the Sriracha Chicken Mac and Cheese. Each meal only costs $1.50, so if they're any good, that's a pretty good bargain. So let's go over these, open them up, heat them up, give them a try, and see if they're so right or so wrong. So let's start with the Szechuan style Kung Pao chicken, which is white meat chicken with brown rice and vegetables and a spicy Kung Pao sauce. Thankfully, they made it with natural white meat chicken versus unnatural white meat chicken. It's the right combination of all white meat chicken served over brown rice with a vegetable mix of broccoli, carrots, red bell peppers, and green onions. We tossed in a few water chestnuts and some Szechuan pepper spice into the sauce to create a delicious meal with the right Kung Pao kick. The ingredient list is surprisingly short with all real ingredients, just like they advertised. The serving size is the whole tray. Per serving, there's 290 calories, 7 grams of total fat, 1 gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, 15 milligrams of cholesterol, 750 milligrams of sodium, 48 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 14 grams of sugars, and 11 grams of protein. The heated instructions are the same for all three. You lift the corner of the lid to vent, and then you microwave on high for three minutes. Then after three minutes, give it a mix, and then microwave for another minute, and then let it rest in the microwave for one minute. So after opening up the cornered event, this went into the microwave for three minutes. After microwaving on high for three minutes, mixing at the three minute mark, and then microwaving for one more minute, and then resting for one more minute, our Szechuan style Kung Pao chicken is ready. And when you open it up, it doesn't look like much. And even after mixing everything together, it still doesn't look like much. Probably about a half a cup of food total. This is very reminiscent of the Yu Sing teriyaki chicken meal I got from the Dollar Tree. But compared to that meal, the So Right looks gourmet. The vegetables besides the carrots are almost non-existent. They're in there, they're just little teeny tiny pieces. And I did count one and a quarter piece of water chestnut. So I went in to try the most important ingredient in the meal, the chicken. I got the biggest piece I could find. And basically, it looked like a piece of chicken out of Campbell's chicken noodle soup. And when I gave it a try, it tasted like the chicken in the Campbell's chicken noodle soup. It had a firm, spongy texture that was somewhat dry and very much flavorless. From the list of ingredients, it appears to be a real piece of chicken, but I wouldn't bet my lunch money on that. I tried another piece of chicken by itself, unfortunately, with the same results. It simply wasn't very good. Then it was time to try a bite of everything. The rice, the vegetables, the chicken, and the sauce. And as you can see by the spoonful, the main component of this dish, and the cheapest component of this dish, is rice. Like I said before, the vegetables are like little specks that get lost in the rice. The flavor, well maybe I should say the lack of flavor. There wasn't really a whole lot of flavor in it at all. I really didn't taste any spice at all, and the sauce was more sweet than spicy or savory. I took one more bite just to confirm my thoughts, and it was a real quick confirmation. Now let's try the So Right Chicken Lo Mein meal, which is white meat chicken with multi-grain pasta and Asian vegetables and a sesame garlic sauce. And again, it's made with natural white meat chicken, as opposed to unnatural white meat chicken. Multigrain pasta and a mix of vegetables that include carrots, broccoli, onions, and red bell peppers is the base for this dish. We added in all white meat chicken and covered it in a tasty sesame garlic sauce to create a delicious Asian style meal. Now there's a few more ingredients in this meal than there was in the Szechuan style Kung Pao chicken. But again, the ingredients aren't bad. At least for what I can tell, if I miss something, let me know in the comments. Per meal, there's 270 calories, 6 grams of total fat, 1 gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, 15 milligrams of cholesterol, 820 milligrams of sodium, 40 grams of carbohydrates, 6 grams of fiber, 14 grams of sugars, and 14 grams of protein. Like I said before, the heating directions are the same for all three. So after following the manufacturer's directions, 
our chicken lo mein meal is ready. And again, it doesn't look like much. And just like the other meal, it doesn't even have a good aroma. Actually, it doesn't really have much aroma at all. The bits of vegetables in this one do seem a little bit bigger though. And just by looking at the noodles, I can tell they're spaghetti noodles. And I guess I could slam them for using spaghetti noodles in lo mein, but then I'd be a hypocrite if I did that, because in a pinch, I've used spaghetti noodles in lo mein before, and although they're not lo mein noodles, they do serve their purpose in a pinch. So I tried a piece of the natural white meat chicken first. And the taste and texture was exactly the same as the chicken in the Szechuan style Kung Pao chicken. Dry and spongy, which again reminded me of the chicken in the Campbell's condensed chicken noodle soup. Courtney tried the chicken too, and concurred with my assessment of the chicken. Then we tried a bite of the spaghetti noodles, vegetables, and sauce. To be kind, the flavor was extinct. But even worse, the noodles were way undercooked. Not even close to al dente. But we started off with the Szechuan style Kung Pao chicken not being very good, and now the chicken lo mein being even worse, so things can only get better from here, right? Well, let's see. Let's try the sriracha chicken mac and cheese and see. This is white meat chicken and a cheesy sriracha sauce. And again, they want you to know it's made with natural white meat chicken. This delicious meal starts with a perfect cheesy base and adds an exciting chili pepper twist to create a cheesy sriracha sauce. The addition of pasta and all white meat chicken make this a meal you'll be sure to remember. Now in the first meal, we went from a few ingredients to the second meal with a little bit more ingredients and now to this meal with a plethora of ingredients. Now I wish I would've gotten a fourth and fifth meal because the way the ingredients increased with each meal, they would've had to use a bigger box. Per meal, there's 390 calories, 16 grams of total fat, 7 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 55 milligrams of cholesterol, 890 milligrams of sodium, 42 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 4 grams of sugars, and 18 grams of protein. After heating just like the other two, our sriracha chicken mac and cheese is ready. And I was having high hopes for this one. And I was hoping that it was like the liquid gold in the Velveeta buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Y'all remember that one, don't you? Now that was some sexy mac and cheese, wasn't it? So I dug in and scooped up a piece of chicken. And I was expecting the chicken to be exactly like the first two meals, but it wasn't. It was even worse. Dust bunnies have more moisture. And honestly, I believe water has more flavor. I got absolutely no flavor or spice from the sriracha, which was very disappointing, because like everyone else, I love sriracha. I put this shit on everything. Frank's Red Hot who? And the cheese flavor I got was like watered down Kraft macaroni and cheese, which I loathe. Then I went in for a bite of macaroni and cheese by itself. And there was absolutely no sriracha flavor whatsoever. To the point, it should be considered false advertisement. There's no creaminess whatsoever to the mac and cheese or any flavor. But the one good thing is the pasta's done this time. They were absolutely right when they said this is a meal you'll be sure to remember. Well, I definitely won't forget this one. These meals may be somewhat healthier than other frozen meals, but they sure do pay the price in flavor and texture. In my opinion, these are no better taste and value wise than a Michelinas meal. How can something so right be so wrong? The first meal was bad, but from there they got worse. I didn't like anything about any of these three meals which is why I'm not even gonna rate them, because they're unrateable. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.